Um, now, what was I going to do? Here's what I was going to do. If I get the upgraded altar of air, like this, you can see this starts to get special resources now, mercury and, and gems to be particular. Um, and I can now get ranged troops. Now these guys are so, so good. There we go, right, so, storm elementals. They're pretty much the same, 2 to 8, 2 to 8, health 25, health 25, so they're exactly the same, except that these guys have a ranged attack, and trust me, it's worth it just for that. Also, they look awesome. You've got to love these sort of 2000 <laughs> graphics, right? They're, they're brilliant. Um, there we go, and then we're just going to attack 22 air elementals. Wow, so I've now got 22 storm. This guy is actually quite powerful now. Um, the shipyard, I'm not fussed about. These gold mines, I am fussed about. So let's go and pick these up. If we can get our gold income coming in a bit better, I'll take it. Now, stone gargoyles, they are the equivalent of level 2 troops. So our air elementals. So we're, we're quite even at the moment. Um, did you see here, I've got a huge range. So I'm going to wait, move to the end of the turn. Um, you can see here, there's a broken arrow symbol. When I put it over them, that means they're too far away, so it's going to do half damage. So again, I'll get my ranged troops to wait. And you see, look, they also pause. The obsidian gargoyles pause and wait for a better time. Now, if everyone waits, it then goes in reverse order, so the slowest one has to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my wards around the lentils in front of my ranged troops, keep them safe. They move towards me. And now I can... Here we go. Bang. Oh, six dead in one ranged attack. That's pretty good. Uh, can I magic arrow as well? Attack this one. And then, now, my sprites are good because they don't, you can't retaliate against them. So watch this. So they can go and attack. Oh! Oh, they actually killed all seven of them. Wow, they're powerful. These are, they're glass cannons, essentially, sprites. They are really, really powerful, but they, just by looking at them, really, is enough to kill them most of the time. Um, hmm. I don't want to go much further with those guys sort of skulking around. So with my extra army now, I think I should be able to take them. And so let's go and... Uh, especially because this lady has 50% um, extra damage on Magic Arrow. It's a pretty good skill. Oi! Oi! You can't just run at my castle. This is the problem. Leaving castles on, uh, with, with no troops in them at all is a very dangerous game. Um, we can now build the Water Tower. Altar of Water. Here we go. And I'm now getting 12 Water Elementals per week. Yes. That's how I want to live. Look at those guys. Water Elementals. I mean, all of the Elementals are quite similar. And most, tr and most castles, right? Level, it goes weakest and then goes all the way. 3, 4, 5, 6 to strongest. The, the, the guys I'm playing with now, the Conflux, it's a little bit weird in the sense that levels 2 through to 5, they're all kind of the same. Yeah, I, I guess they are pretty much exactly the same. Apart from Earth Elemental might be a little bit better, but they're all sort of somewhere between level 3 and 4. Um, Psychic and Firebirds are level 6 and level 7 troops, so they're pretty good. Um, here we go. Let's buy the Water Elementals in, just so I've got a garrison. Um, you, can't, you can't move troops out of your castle without a hero attached to them, so that's why heroes are so sort of important in this game. Um, I still haven't taken back that gold mine, that's pretty good. Let's go and take down Gretchen the Barbarian. Ha 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 ha. Now here we go. This is a relatively even fight. In fact, actually, I'd say their troops are stronger. But you can see here, attack four, defense two. So their troops are going to be a little more powerful than mine. Power one, knowledge one. He won't have any, well, she won't have any spell casting. You can quite see it's a lady with the, uh, quite the get up there. Um... <laughs> Okay, so my magic arrow is going to do 60 points of damage. No, it's not. It's actually going to do 90 points of damage because of my ability. So, a rock has 60 health. Now, these guys are very strong and they're very quick. So, I'm going to take a hit on those now. Yeah, 90 damage. Very good. Right, we'll wait with these troops. Wait again. Uh, move you in front like I did before. Okay. See if I can take down the rocks with my no retaliation attack. Oh, yes, I did. 105 damage. Oh. Now, the rocks will have had higher defense than the wolf riders, right? And it does 110. They've got 120 health between them. So I think if I attack them... Yes. Look at that. That's good. Now, um, the goblins. If the goblins hit my sprites, it's going to do a lot of damage to me. And you can see here they've got a speed of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can actually reach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast slow. 
on them. Essentially that will mean that they now can only move four. One, two, three, four. So they don't they can't reach me this turn, which is good. I'll wait. I'll move my water elementals in to go and help out. I'll do range attack. Only six dead. It's not the best. Next round begins. Okay, so magic arrow them. Here we go. Um Let's retreat everyone just while they're slow. Like this, get a, like another round of ranged attacks in. Like this. Good, good. Right, next turn. Another magic arrow in. Here we go. Now I feel like I can go and attack. Eight damn it. There we go. Only two of them left now. Bang. There we go. We killed him with no loss to ourselves. That magic arrow ability is pretty good. Uh, and I should actually level up from that as well. Pinned into three will. Ranges my units immune to hypnotize. Ooh. Very cool. Ah, oh, expert water magic. Definitely. It's never worth getting basic air magic as well. Because teach that just as like an upgrade to one of the castles. So we'll go for expert water magic. This will make my water spells so, so good. So there we go. We've got, we've got one powerful spell cast in there. Um... Right, we'll just go and get this, get these crystals, and then we can go and win these crystals. Oh, beautiful! Get an extra gold, another gold mine. I've now got eight thousand coming in per turn. That's not bad. Let's go and get this gold mine now. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, we appear to have lost sort of contact with anyone else trying to attack us, which is quite good. Oh, one thing I should check. Um, Tavern, just check who I can buy, buy this. Uh, this sort of week. Uh, the heroes change every week, so you can see there's a guy with basic estates. Now that's quite good, um, and also somebody with haste. Basic estates. The reason I say that's quite good is because that gives you 125 extra gold per turn. So it costs 2,500 gold to get a hero, but actually you get that back in what 20 turns. So when you play the long game, it's good to have a hero with estates. Um, I am actually going to get two more heroes. One in each city, like so, so that I can keep my places fortified. Ooh, ooh, plus one Mercury. That's really, 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 really good because actually my pyre, which is my best thing, that absorbs Mercury like nothing else. So I'm gonna need loads of Mercury later in the game. So that is a really good hero for me. It's not actually a hero of my um, army. That's actually Tower, which is sort of like a sort of mountainous, snowy place with lots of spells, very similar. I'll grant you that, uh, but not mine. So you can see here the background is different. It's a different city. So I'm going to get rid of that gremlin because all it's going to do is reduce the morale of my others. Um, and then we'll keep you here for now. Beautiful. Quite a lot of money doing that, but um, that's all right. Now what I'm going to do is we've got two days before the end of the week. Now I could upgrade water to get myself ice elementals. Again, they're also ranged units, which are pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the altar of fire and then the Altar of Earth in both places now, so that, you can see here, I'll get a week's worth of troops and then it, it'll just sort of help me out in that regard. Here we go. I've now got a garrison, which is good. I can, you can't see the heroes on the map because they are upwards. Like if they were here, you can now see them on the map if that makes sense. But here, garrisoned. Safe and sound. Good, good, good. Uh, let's go and take this. Splendid. Um, here we go. Movement is a bit of an issue. My guys seem to be very, very, very slow, but never mind. Um, here we go. Extra crystal. Good, good. Shrine of Magic Incantation. Ooh, teaches me View Air, which is a very rubbish spell. Um, wonderful. A pack of trolls. Trolls are kind of like level four, maybe, so they're quite strong. Hmm. Where did purple come from? Up here somewhere, right? Oh, a hill thought. That's why. <clears throat> it's a very... Sorry. Let me just have some water. I'm very, very sorry. Ah, uh, I'm very sorry. Ah, uh, don't drink, kids. Blimey, it does terrible things to you. Um, okay, cool. So, what was I doing? Yeah, hill thoughts. Essentially, you can take any troop there and you can upgrade it. So, you can buy really basic troops, take it to a hill thought and upgrade them. I think it's even at a discount. Maybe it's not at a discount, but it always feels like it's at a discount. Um, so there we go, that's pretty good. Ooh, a magic well. This replenishes my spell points. Do you see, I've actually used quite a lot of them. I because I've got four, uh, four knowledge, but 
I've actually run out of them a little bit, so that's good. Ooh. So 25 nomads. I think there's equivalent of like level 2 troops. You can see here, 2 to 6 damage, 30 health. They're quite comparable to my elementals, actually, to be fair. So there we go. Uh, right, what are we going to do? A disrupting ray, what does that do? It reduces an army's defensive strength. You can see here, defense 8. So actually, if my pexies attack with only 2, they're going to do not that much damage. But magic arrow for now. Oh, I killed one whole one. Fantastic. Right. The thing is, there is a double uh, sized troop, so I think if I stick my water elementals in here, I sort of start blocking the map up. There we go. Ooh, four damage, that's not bad. So I waited until the end of the go, so I'm gonna fly in, attack. Okay, so it did four damage. Now I get to move again in the next round, so we will fly back over here. We will do a slow. Slay them down, there we go, and we can get another ranged attack in. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So they can't reach me here. That's good. Move the water elementals away a bit. Here we go, new turn. Wait. Lightning. Now we're going to go and attack. Oh, that was a bad move, actually. Oh, do you see? So he attacked and then retaliated and killed one of mine exactly. That's very, that's unfortunate. So we've actually lost one of each elemental, but do you know what? That's that's fine. We killed 25, so pretty good. Ballistics, that helps me take down enemy cities. Uh, advanced Wisdom lets me learn fourth level spells. I'll get basic ballistics, that's quite handy. And a god man! Yay! We've got loads of god coming in per turn now. Not bad at all. Awesome. Uh, so Altar of Earth is actually 10 ore. Oh, so I can't afford now uh, one in each city. That's unfortunate. So am I going to bother? Ooh, and which city do I build it in? That's the question. I need five more ore, and unfortunately, I've run out of movement with my heroes. So, well, there's stuff over there, but I wouldn't be able to get it, is the issue. It's a little far away. Um, there's none really near me here as well. What would it cost in a market to get five ore? Quite a lot of wood. Bit of hmm, quite a lot of stuff, I think, really. But is it worth it? Is it could, trading stuff away? Is it worth it in order to get the extra earth elementals? I think so. So we'll trade nine away for three, and then we'll trade another three away to get one more. We'll trade a three away to get one more, like that. Perfect. Right now, I can afford an altar of earth in both places. There you go. So that gets me eight earth elementals in. Perfect, look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, another purple person. Oh, this is the hero with only one. So actually, look, I can take him down pretty easily. Let's just go do that quickly. Only one troop. Hopefully I'll go first because my guys are fastest. Yep, and I can magic arrow. Bang. That's easy. Take my cavern back. Good, good, good. Um... We're going to go to this magic well. Awesome. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. Bit of extra gold. Uh, oh, there's an extra ore farm. Lots of water elementals again. Some water elementals, we know about There's Lots, there's 20 to 40 of them. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, you know I can pick up my next week's worth of troops. Can you see? It's week three. So we've generated all of these troops. We've now got quite a few more to play with, which should be pretty good. Um, magma elementals. Oh, they're fun. They are very fun, actually. Should we do those? Yeah. Oh, those are really cool. Right. So, let's start here. Um, because why not? Uh, storm elementals. They're pretty good. Sprites. How much is it going to cost us to get all these guys? Quite a lot. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Water Elementals first. Problem is, sometimes is it actually you have too many troops that you can to afford them full stop. Like, it's... You've got to be careful with your money sometimes. Okay, so we're actually running out of money now. Yeah, okay, so we only got 240 gold. 